So the the tesseract that you saw on DMT, where where was it? Like in in your frame of reference, like when you were looking. Like, did you really? I, I know you said you didn't fully blast off, but like, did you feel like you were in it when you were looking at it, or? Yeah. So it felt like um, I was in a room, like you know. I, I feel like there were like corners and walls almost in mm-hmm. a way, but again, this like pattern was just like moving over it. If I remember correctly, it was like yellow, green, and purple equally, and kind of moving like a even like a tessellation where all the shapes fit into each other, mm-hmm. moving. And I felt like I was you know vibrating or, but in my in my mind's eye, like I closed my eyes and I was I was in it, mm-hmm. um, and that was the first hit that I took. Um, I'd say actually the coolest takeaway from it all. From what I can remember is I almost feel like I saw this like outline of Ganesh, you know, like the Hindu god, like mm-hmm. the elephant, which was kind of cool. Like it felt like just for a moment, like there was this other like being or like shape of a being, yeah. but it was still in, it was still in the pattern, if that makes sense. It was almost like a heat signature where you can see it's a little shifted sure, and you can make like the outline. Um, but yeah, it definitely felt like I was going into an actual room, which was like interesting because you'd imagine it to be like, oh, I'm going into this like infinite space or something but yeah yeah you're like where is it but it does feel like a location yeah it really does like i felt like i was in a room as well like it didn't feel like i was seeing the whole world no it felt like i was only seeing a a small part of this place right yeah that was dmt man yeah dude i need to blast off yeah (laughs) i'm ready (laughs) yeah dude yeah yeah i'd like to do it again i would It, it it was such a bizarre experience but it was also the best feeling ever yeah (laughs) like literally the best feeling ever times infinity so on some level i like want to just see if i could reproduce that yeah oh (laughs) to remind myself of what it was but then on top of it now i want to go in being like all right where am i yeah you know like kind of more investigative and who knows maybe i'll get some pushback for that yeah right exactly uh, (laughs) but you know, if it's my own mind, which I'm totally okay with accepting that theory too, mm-hmm. that it's not actually a place, but it is somehow within your consciousness to be able to produce that. Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, and obviously it is because you go through the experience, but meaning like the fact that it's happening internally, does it even change that it didn't happen externally? Right. Yeah. If my brain is stressed like it's stressed from a tiger, but it's just me stressed over like paying a bill or something like then d- is there a difference physiologically yeah. not really right it's perception is reality yeah. in a sense um yeah and the other thing on that is like kind of like hippie moment but i think that just shows you like even if it is inside of you like how deep and how much inside in of there. you yeah there mm-hmm. is to go into Infinite. and yeah and if and even if it's not another place then if that's a part of you then you're part of everything That's in a way. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I um, I do like it's fun to believe that it is you're going somewhere else. Yeah. Or something's yeah. communicating I, with I, you. I enjoy that too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, for sure. But um, yeah, at the same time, if it is just something that the human psyche produces, I think that still speaks volumes, you know, regardless. I, I completely agree. Yeah, I couldn't have said it better. Um, I think I think just in general – that world is crazy like that's just a crazy world to go to yeah um, deep in your mind like whether it's through meditation dmt uh heroic dose of mushrooms or lsd like they'll all take you to this like place that it's indescribable right you know but it's a feeling and you like understand it yeah in a way that it's not outspoken language mm-hmm. it's just it's just this like intuition yeah that's just knowing you're just like oh, i just know this yeah i for me it almost feels like familiar each time like yes oh yeah that's right <sighs> i forgot I'm yeah bad. and yeah. that's the part like it almost makes you feel like being like a nostalgic child or something mm-hmm. in some sense mm-hmm. and that it's more true and and that's what i really appreciate about it is like if you haven't done it and you try it and you have a good time like you really understand what it means to be there and feel that and like resonate in that space Definitely. Um, you know, it, it does feel like maybe that was the before or the after, in yeah, a sense. If there even is a before and after. Right. right. That's just our perception within the human experience. Totally. But if we're part of this higher 
dimension or whatever the fuck, you know, I don't know. But if we're part of it, um, then does it even matter where it happens in the timeline? Yeah. Is time even linear? Does time actually even matter? I mean, it matters obviously in our meat bodies. So right. we got it. We have to pay attention to time here, but like, does it really matter in the larger scheme of everything? Probably not. It probably does. Time is probably only experienced in this yeah dimension right at least in this way yeah and even like for the singularity and as far as like simulations go the idea of like what if this is all a simulation you know and then it's just a simulation in a simulation in a simulation Mm -hmm. you know and who knows how far that could go dude 